Hi everyone and welcome to a new season of Pompey Women Vlogs! We're at Felix Stone Walton for Ipswich Town versus Pompey Women in the league. So we're back again for our fourth season of Pompey Women Vlogs. Yay. Thanks everyone for all the support. Um, yeah, it's massively uh, inspirational to us to, to keep doing the vlogs and yeah, we really appreciate all that. So we're Thank back you. again. Yeah. Abby, mm -hmm. it's all new, isn't it, here this year? We've got, I think we've had eight players leave, nine players come in. Um, Mostly youngsters. But that's yeah, a lot of young, young players. So we've got a young squad this year. Uh, if you want to, I'm not going to go through all the signings because there's a lot of them. <laughs> if you want to know, uh, just check out Pompey News Now, Talking Woso. Um, or 1898 websites. I've done season previews on all of them and that will detail all, all of our signings, ingoings and outgoings. Yep. This year in the league, we've got three new teams. Uh, we've got Billericay and Cheltenham who have come up and Abby, who came down from the championship? Watford. So Watford have come down and you would have seen them featured on the vlogs before because mm. uh, yeah. we played them. They were a very good team. Um, when Before they went up, they were a very good side. Um, don't think we ever beat them actually in the league. We beat them in the cup, but we never beat we them in the league. We're going to do this season. Let's see. So, new season, tough test for the girls today. Yeah. Ipswich away. So, Ipswich finished third last year. They were right up there with Scum, uh, challenging for the title to the yeah. last minute. They were a very, very good side, and they're expected to be a good side again this year. So, Ipswich away is a very tough fixture to start yeah. with. So, Abby, shall we show the watchers around the ground? What yeah. have we got? Got a pitch. Where's the pitch? <laughs> okay, so we got a pitch. The yeah, the pitch looks really good actually. I, don't, I seem to remember it not being too great at the end of last year. Yeah, it was like really bumpy, wasn't it? So we actually took four points off Ipswich last year, didn't we? We drew with them here 1 1. Evie yeah. Gaines scored down this end here. And then we beat them at Fratton Park in the last game of the season, yeah. one 0 with a Cheryl Cassell worldy. Cheryl Cassell <laughs> worldy. God, that's a mouth, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, there's the squad warming up. The team news is out. So let's see Jay's first starting eleven of the season. So four debutants named in the starting eleven today. Uh, we've got Hannah Horton in goal. Then we've got Ella Wild, Dan Rowe, captain, Izzy Collins, Rosie McDonnell, Danny Lane, Ava Robotham. Annie Rolfe, Tierney Scott, Emma Jones, and Sophie Quirk. On the bench, we've got Nicole Barrett, Jazz Younger, Anisha Hill, Taylor McDonald, and Mia Adoy. So that's your Pompey lineup for today. Four debuts for Pompey. Um, nice crowd building here today. The girls are just coming out for kickoff, so let's see how they get on in the first half. Yeah, yeah. 
I can't really change it from video. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to put a video from the Okay, so half time here, Ipswich nil, Pompey won. What an excellent half from Pompey. Um, we're four debutants away from home against a formidable Ipswich. You, could, you couldn't really ask any more, no. could you? What do you think, Abs? We were, we were really good, actually. We're really good at feeding the ball through some really good shots as well. Yeah. Danny Lane's goal, cheeky, very cheeky. Yeah, Danny Lane had already gone close, hadn't she, with a, yeah. with a header well tipped round the post by their keeper. Um, I know it might sound a bit greedy, but you kind of think that we should have maybe been a couple up, at least yeah, two, maybe, maybe three up, but are we going to regret that in the second half? That's yeah. the problem, because we have had the chances, yeah. um, but we've had way more chances than they have, yeah. but we haven't, we've only taken the one so far, so um, I think more of the same second half. Ipswich yeah. look good, they're athletic, um, just a little bit disorganised, maybe like, I don't know, their ins and outs this season, but at the back at one point, we had a player completely unmarked, like none, no one had tracked her back at all, so... Yeah. Um, maybe we need to try and take advantage of that if yeah. we're going to win this game. But no, I mean, brilliant, brilliant first half. Um, you could, literally couldn't have asked for any more from the team. Um, the ref is really annoying everyone, isn't he? Oh, all the it's are trying to like, oh, shut up, ref, you're so annoying, ref. Oh, you really like the sound of your own whistle, don't you? Like, He's one of these refs who talks a lot, like yeah. really authoritative. And yeah, yeah I think Ooh, both hey, sides hey. are a bit annoyed with him. But yeah, yeah great first half from Pompey. Um, let's hope we can carry that on and, uh, and get all three points in the second half. Oh, what a ball. That's on. Okay, joined on the vlogs by Sophie Quirk. Sophie, two goals on debut. How did that feel? Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Like, 
it's sort of the dream start and obviously to get the three points away at Ipswich is an unbelievable result, good way to start the season and mm -hmm. grateful for the fans to see us get the win. Abby, got any questions? <laughs> <laughs> did I ask you a question? Yes, you like a okay, did you got any more? Um, how did it feel starting? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good, it was pretty good. So, well, there's a lot of Pompey fans here as well which is lovely to see and yeah, just sort of enjoyed the game really. So talk us through that second goal. I mean, the, the, by now, people who are watching this interview would have seen the video clip of it. It looked like a bit of a cheeky back flick. Oh, yes, the ball, I didn't really know what happened. So, obviously, Danny's had the ball over. It's sort of gone past me, and I just sort of plung my leg at it. I turned around, it was at the back of the net. I was a bit like, oh. <laughs> but no, it was, it was yeah, buzzing to get the goal in. Yeah, it'd be a good one to remember. <laughs> so, you had a really good pre season, didn't you? You were one of our, you know, I highlighted in our previews, you were one of our star players in pre season. So, it must have been pleasing to take that into the first game against such a strong Ipswich side. Yeah, we've sort of been building well in pre-season, so we're getting all the principles down. I feel like as a team, we really come together over pre-season. So, yeah, sort of getting that foundation has been good to carry into the league and hopefully more to come. Oh, brilliant. Well, thanks for joining us on the vlog, making your vlog debut and <laughs> yeah, hope to be vlogging many more of your goals this season. Yeah, hopefully. Thanks, thanks Sophie. Thanks. Okay, joined on the vlog, uh, Pompey manager Jay Sadder. Jay, you, that's amazing. What a result. You can't have wished for anything more, surely. No, we said that to the girls, like whatever the result, it doesn't define our season. So if we lose here, it's not all doom and gloom. We haven't gone down and if we win here, we haven't won a title. Um, but we have won and obviously we said it's a very difficult place to come to. There's a lot of fans, it's a tight pitch. Um, we know Ipswich are a very good footballing team and I think each to a player, they were fantastic out there. They defended really well. We understand that we gave or allowed Ipswich to have a lot of the ball and, and it was just about not, not being broken through. And then when we've got it, can we create moments? And, and we took them moments. So four days debutants today what have you got to say about their performances yeah I thought they were all superb obviously we saw Taylor and, and Nick late on from the bench um, hopefully we'll see obviously more of them throughout the year um, but the players that were on the pitch I think fantastic Ella Wilde only 18 it's her first mm. game in senior football and she's coming up against some youth internationals some very good football players um, and then obviously Quirky as well we know what Quirky can bring to the party um, she, she linked up really well with um, with them oh, and also T in the first half she used her physicality um, and I think yeah we, we managed the rhythm of the game well that was in the game plan was manage the rhythm manage the momentum when we felt we were on top can we play with pace when we felt we were in behind can we slow the game down and I think we managed that well and yeah, to keep a clean sheet and get three points we're obviously over the moon So you went with a front three today and obviously Shannon and Sherelle leaving in the summer left you, you know, almost 60 goals short in the in the lineup, but that front three were highly effective, weren't they? Today? They, you know, you pinned Ipswich back right in their own box. Is that what, was that your game plan? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was to play in their half, whether we got the ball or without the ball. We backed ourselves that to allow them in that half, and we could affect it on the high press. So when we've got it, we know we've got players that are transitional players that can go and score goals. Um, we know we were losing 60 goals in them two players. We also knew we were losing a workhorse in, in Haley Bridge, and the question mark's been, can we replace it? Um, and now it's down to the girls to answer that and we've scored three goals today Danny Lane I think was pivotal in that as well but then you look at the quality and the array of talent still coming back in May Goulden's missing today Leanne Bell's missing today Nay Harney couldn't even make the squad so the uh, array of attacking quality we've got all the way through the team not only have we got goals but we're, we're defensively solid and today we proved that yeah, That's brilliant thanks for joining us on the vlog and uh, yeah what a start to the yeah. season No absolute pleasure and just a massive thanks to you and all the fans that came down today long trip um, so yeah, hopefully put smiles on everyone's face. Brilliant, thanks Jay. Cheers mate. Okay, so full time here, it's Rich Neil, Pompey free. Hey. Well, how's the game? Good. <laughs> you will loved, oh, what a result. That what an great. unbelievable result. It's Rich, formidable side last season yeah. and they're probably gonna be again this year. And we've come away from home and won three nil on the opening day. Unbelievable result, what a shift from the girls. I can't, I'm so proud of them. Young yeah. side, and they really worked hard, didn't they, Abby? Yeah. What we, do you think we, the key was, key to winning was? What do you think? Um, well, not giving up, really. Yeah. Just keep going. When we scored that first goal, I think that gave us a bit of motivation, and we just mm. went on from that, and we scored two more. Yeah. We were really good, Brilliant. Though. Um, so, you know, M we got MK Dons at home next week. They won 6-1 against Crawley today, so that's going to be a tough test. But, yeah, what a brilliant opening day. Um, Thanks for all the support again. Um, you know, like it, like the videos, please, because then that helps promote them on people's timelines. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, come and say hi at matches if you want to come on the vlog for an interview at matches. Yeah. That'd be great. Um, but yeah, have a great week a great and week hopefully there. see some of you at MK Dons at home. I haven't at Waterlooville two o'clock next Sunday. Bye bye. Thank see you later. Bye. bye.